Looking at a drier start to the day today. Still a few very isolated showers showing up on the radar picture as we continue to deal with the really back edge of this upper level low. We zoom out to view. You notice we do have some showers near Detroit this morning. Most of that will slide just east of our area, but I still can't totally roll out a stray shower today, especially east of I-75. But mainly dry is the theme here today. And really, as we move forward through the rest of the week, a drying trend, more sunshine and warmer weather. So slowly but surely, the improvements, they are on the way here. This morning is a chilly start. We have a temperature at 37 in Minster, 40 in Lima, 41 in Delphus and Van Wert. We look at those winds, it's still a bit on the breezy side. It's a northwest wind coming in 10 to 15 miles per hour. And we're still looking at a breezy forecast today. I think we'll have wind sustained here in that around at 15 miles per hour. And some gusts could go as high as 30 miles an hour for this afternoon. Now, once we get to about sunset, these winds will greatly start to subside. And as we head into tomorrow, much lighter winds in the forecast. And that will be the trend through the end of the week. So good news there. And also good news that we're warming up and drying out because we've had plenty of rain. If we look at precipitation over the past week. You can see we've had multiple days in a row of measured precipitation. That's uh, six days straight there. So again, we could use a break and we are expecting a drier weather today, but still kind of that cloudy look outside. But as we get into the afternoon, a little bit of sunshine starting to break through as we do climb back out of the 40s and into the 50s. So 50s definitely an improvement from yesterday. Looking at that sky cast, you notice at noon today, still that back edge of the clouds will still hang on for most of our area. Now we noticed this afternoon, our model is a little optimistic here and possibly it's a little too optimistic, but I think we'll have at least some breaks, some holes of sunshine coming through the area. So it'll look a little bit better today and temperatures again, not as bad as what it has been lately. We go into tonight, just some partial clearing here with some clouds moving through and these clouds will tend to decrease our frost concern. There's an outside chance one or two of you might get a little bit of frost late tonight, but the conditions are not necessarily ideal, but it could happen in a couple spots. And that would be the last morning in this forecast where any frost is a possibility. Tomorrow, we'll see that warm up start to develop. Tomorrow, really pretty nice weather with temperatures back in those low 60s and more sunshine mixed with some clouds tomorrow. So Thursday, really a pretty decent spring day, albeit still a little bit on the cool side. But then once we get to Friday, this is where we can start to say the weather looks fantastic. Near 70s, sunshine. We've had some showers up to the north, another system down to the south, but really looks to stay split. And our area looks to stay mainly dry. And that dry trend looks to continue all the way through the weekend. So we check out that 70 forecast. Again, today's still breezy and cool, but tomorrow much uh, nicer, more sunshine, a high of 62. We'll go 68 on Friday. There's room for those temperatures to even trend a little bit warmer. We'll go 70 Saturday, 75 on Sunday. Right now, I'm keeping the weekend dry. Overall, this is just a really nice weekend on the way. And then a few thunderstorms on the way for next week as temperatures stay pleasant.